How you doing today? I'm Gunsmith SC. Uh, I went ahead and I got this booster stove. I seen them for $180 and stuff. I got this one on eBay for just under $70, like $68, $70. And uh, <clears throat> it's a little portable backpack camping stove. We got the burner, got the pump, got the fuel bottle. Tool, got the lines, we got a spare nozzle and a grommet. Now, this thing wasn't in the best of shape. The box was tore up, all the stuff was broken and all, but none of the parts seemed to be broke. Well, this is a plus. And, uh, this stove also used them little butane bottles, too. The, the mixture of uh, propane and butane. But, <clears throat> from what I've read here, this output on the white gas is like uh, 2420. And the butane and the propane We'll put it at about 1800. So for the heat source, the white gas will obviously be better, be hotter, and so forth. I plan on doing a trail uh, with my bike. The CNO Canal is 184 miles. It starts out in Cumberland, Maryland, and it goes all the way down to DC. <coughs> and uh, I guess I'm just getting some stuff together so I can go do it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this thing together. Then we're going to go outside and put a pot of water on it and see how quick it boils. I hope I don't strip anything in the process. I mean, uh, what can I say? Well, this seems to be going together pretty easily. Got your little tool for this thing. I ain't never had a whole lot of faith in stuff like this. It comes with your own tools where you tighten this up and do all that crap, but. Well, that worked pretty good. Can't say too much negative about it yet. Let's straighten this line here out. Been in the box. From the time they shipped it out, made it, put it in China, put it in the box in China and sent it out here. That's that's one of the bad things about this, is it did come from China. But find something in our storage over here today that don't come from China. You know, I mean, it's a shame. I'm really not a supporter of <clears throat> buying Chinese, but I mean, what can you do? They, uh, <laughs> half the time they make a pretty decent product, I hate to say. I mean, look at the iPhone and all. I got an iPhone, I got an iPad, the, uh, the iPod, got a daggone, uh, MacBook. They all made in China, so, I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore. Okay, and that's how the stove goes together. Boy, I watch this. This thing got a little metal piece on it to clean out the nozzle. Little metal wire. I just uh really coined my finger with it, come on. Okay, and they got some little bag to put it all in. I don't see everything going in this bag and I'm afraid something's gonna get broken. Well, I got my own bag to put it in. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this outside, put fuel in the bottle, set it up, and uh, I'm going to put an oversized pot on here, one that you would use in your kitchen. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, this is a trail stove, a little backpacking camp stove. I'm going to put a big old pot on here, because I believe this thing is going to heat it up mighty quick. And uh, if you're going to give something to test, you might as well test it, right? That's the way I look at it. So, uh, 
bear with me. We're going to go ahead and hook this thing up outside. I'll uh, turn the camera back on for you guys. I appreciate you watching my videos and uh, thank you. I did this, it took about eight minutes before it started smoking, before it started getting hot, before steam started coming off the water. And we're up to three minutes and 30 seconds now. And here we go, we got five minutes and 47 seconds, and we got boiling water. My review on this stove, okay, let's see. I like it. I don't like the fact that when you first load it up, it wants to burn up everything. But from what I'm understanding about it, this is like a preheating tube. You go ahead and pump the pressure in the bottle. This thing burns diesel fuel, uh, oil for hurricane lamps, uh, if it's a fuel when it burns, it, it goes, this stove burns it. And that's what this tube's for, is to help preheat the gas that's coming down to the nozzle. And, uh, like for the diesel fuel, I can see it. And for the Coleman fuel and all, it, work, it definitely works good. It takes it from a lower pressure that you're pushing in here, and by heating it up, it adds more pressure to it. And it, it's, I, I like it. I, I don't like the fact that uh, it burns the way it does when you first light it up. And that big orange flame and all that. I, I dial the gas back. I let some of the stuff that burn off. And then I'll crack the gas a little bit to it. Uh, the nozzle's not clogged. Nothing's clogged up. I guess that's just the way they designed the thing. It takes a little bit of getting used to because I'm not, uh, used to having something do that to me. Most of the stuff I use has been propane. Uh, my dad likes Coleman fuel stuff. I was never too much to it because I've seen one of them stoves blow up on them. And uh, ever since then I just started using propane. Like that's any safer. But it is what it is. Uh, I highly recommend it. You plan on doing a trip like me. I plan on going on a trip. It's going to take me a week to do it. And it's, uh, the way this thing burns fuel, get a couple 